Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Centering a DIV element horizontally using margin, zero auto, is a common technique in CSS. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve that. Hashtag 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 overview. The margin, zero auto, property is used to center block level elements that have a defined width. The left and right margins are automatically set to equal, which pushes the element to the center of its parent container. Hashtag 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 step by step guide. 1. Create an HTML structure, you'll need a simple HTML file with a container and a DIV that you want to center. 2. Define CSS styles, set the width of the DIV and apply the margin, zero auto, rule. Hashtag 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 example code. Here's a complete example that includes both the HTML and CSS. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. 1. HTML structure. The outer DIV class equals container acts as a wrapper for the centered element. It uses a maximum width to ensure it does not stretch too wide on large screens. The inner DIV class equals center DIV is the element we want to center and has a defined width of 50% of its parent, the container. 2 CSS styles. The body has a light background and some padding for aesthetics. The dot container class has a maximum width of 1200 px, and its margins are set to zero auto, which centers it within the body. The dot center div class has a width of 50%, which means it will take up 50% of the width of its parent container. The margin, zero auto, centers it horizontally. Hashtag 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 additional notes. Width requirement, for margin, zero auto, to work, the element must have a specified width. If the width is not set, the element will stretch to fill the entire width of its parent. Responsive design, using percentages for widths, like 50% in this example, allows for responsive design, making the element adjust based on the size of the viewport. Vertical centering, if you also want to center the DIV vertically, you can use techniques like flexbox or grid, as margin, zero auto, only addresses horizontal centering. This tutorial should help you effectively center a DIV using CSS. Feel free to modify the styles and experiment with different widths and colors.